Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. December 2023 Microsoft Power BI updates are here. And one update actually got my attention. And what is that? Well, that is more styling options for column and bar charts. This would definitely enhance your experience with data visualization, more impactful analysis and storytelling capabilities. So if you also would like to know more about these capabilities and new formatting options, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. First of all, if you are new over here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and also the latest updates from Microsoft Power BI. You should also continuously check this Microsoft Power BI blog where you would find all the latest updates and also the previous updates. Over here, in December 2023 feature summary, you would find a lot of updates, but our focus for today is to check out these more styling options for column and bar chart. This is what we are going to explore today in this video. You can close it, you can come under this file section or the menu. There you would go to options and settings. Over here, you are gonna find these options. And now, you just need to go to under global settings and see the preview features. Here, I have already checked all the preview features that I would like to use, but if you would like to check any other features, you can simply click on the boxes. And after that, you need to just click on this OK button. It's going to ask you to restart your Power BI Desktop app if you would like to enable all these features. So please don't forget to do that. Another very important feature that we are going to have a look today over here is about this Keep Current Setup or use a more classic pane setup. You can choose either of these. You can do it according to you, but I'm going to use this update setup and this is going to give me more flexibility. However, you can also use your previous setups or you can even customize it if you would like to with the help of these two buttons. Like if I would like to customize and I say that, OK, I need one more pane over here, which is my performance analyzer. I would like to always keep it. And if you would like to have any other pane over here that you can do as well. That's all I need to do. If I have to collapse it, I have to simply click on this button. It's going to collapse. If you would like to again open it, you have to simply click over here on these pins. That's what we are going to do. Now let's talk about this bar chart first. I'm just going to simply copy it from here. And after that, I'm going to click another tab and going to paste it over here. First of all, I'm going to be over here and I'm going to go to my formatting pane, which is over here. As soon as you do that, you would see all the pins are going to appear side by side and you would get more flexibility in terms of design, styles, etc. And if you would like to collapse them, then you can simply click on this button. It's going to go there and again, you can click over here. Now, I'm going to come here under this size and style options. Over here, you are going to see a lot of options, but what we are going to do over here, we are going to come here, first of all, under the data labels. Here, you would click on these data labels. Now you can see the data labels are appearing on this, but not for the another one. However, if you are going to expand it, you can apply the different formattings over here. Like you can say, optimize data labels. And you can see that now both the data labels are appearing. You can also expand these if you would like to, like I'm doing over here, you can also select this overflow like this. Now, if you see the maximum of it, you can customize it. And if you would like to enable the titles over here, which was not earlier, so you can simply click the titles and now you can see what is this data label all about. This is my sales amount. And next to that, you can also see what is the content over here. You can see the series name or you can also customize it if you would like to like over here and then you can add more options over here. Now I'm not going to do that. If you would like to change the font, for example, I think this font is quite small. So I want to increase the size of my title. I can do that. 
these are the couple of options that you can do over here but if you would like to increase the transparency you can do that now you can see these are gonna be faded that's what you can do over here as a title now next go to the values part so for example you are over here and rather than the sales amount if you would like to use the purchase amount or any other quantity that you can do i'm just showing you as a demo over here you can come under the purchase and you can use the purchase amount but if you would like to use something else for example previous sale as well so you can do that as well so click on this previous sale and this is gonna appear over there as a previous sale now you have again the transparency if you would like to transparent you don't want to transparent you want to change their colors for example i'm gonna use this one or if you would like to use any other color you can do that over here you can also use this show blank as you want to uh, you want to use the null or you want to use the zero you can do that if you would like to appear more details you can again go over here and you can add more field for example now in this case i would like to use my previous sale as my more details so what was my previous sale according to this so you can see that my previous sale and this uh, sales amounts are side by side but here i can use it as a detail in this one by doing that you would get to know that you have a lots of options over here whenever you are working on this bar chart and you can play with these ones so these are the formatting options which are going to help you a lot whenever you are going to design it Now we are gonna switch to our stacked column chart which I have created over here where you can see that I have the categories and then I have the months on the x-axis and these are all for the sales amount that's what we are gonna do over here. Now after coming over here we have to also see what are other options that we can try over here. For example total labels are off this was earlier as well but now you have the more options if you would like to change it to split into positive and negative values or you would like to change anything else but next to that you have the data labels data labels we have already discussed that what we can do with the data labels how you can change it what are the different options that you have in terms of its titles or you would like to customize it etc what i'm more interested in is in the layout so let me find where is the layout and here you can see the layout there you would find under the columns this is the layout options that we have we can even do the reverse order we can also do uh, the sort by value options over here so if I'm gonna select this sort by value and also I'm gonna do the reverse order you can see that these are gonna change over here this option mainly you would notice over here where I have multiple you know lines side by side and here if you are gonna go to the layout options so let's see over here if you do it's gonna reverse the order if you are gonna sort by value that's also you can do here your previous sales and the current sales is almost same that's why we are not getting this but over here what you can do rather than category let's change this to your month and if I'll do the month here you would see like this so now if i'm gonna change to this reverse order you would see the order has been changed from high to low if you want to do from low value to high you can do that also you can do sort by values not only that you can also increase the space between these categories or the months over here which you can see so these are the couple of options that you can apply over here but in this chart what i'm trying to do i'm trying to increase the spacing between these bars and also how we can use the borders over here so let's select over here and let's go under these formatting options over here i'm gonna not use this data labels but i'm more interested in the columns and here you can either apply settings to all or just to specific one that's all option you have now see the border as soon as i hit this button you can see you have this border color and you can even change it so in this case i would like to change something darker color and you can see that i have now a bit of darker color i can also increase the width of these borders as you can see now the next one is their layout and it's asking the spaces between the categories how much space you would like to put and i say okay increase it to this now you can literally see this but 
Rather than this, I would like to increase the space between these series and how you can do that. There is another option over here. So now you can see the space is increasing between these categories like this. And now it looks so beautiful. Not only that, when you customize the labels, you can put the up and down arrows as well. That is going to be very helpful for you. Furthermore, if you would like to use this series explosion, you can do that. And now you see it's looking so good. And now you would like to change it to ribbon chart, which is over here. There also you can see that how beautiful it's looking over here. You can see all the spacing between the column series. And if you would like to increase in the chart as well, you can do so so what do you think guys about it are these new options and formatting options are going to help you out or you need some more enhancement in it do you have some new ideas about it please do let us know by commenting in the comment section also if you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with all the latest videos and updates see you in the next video